resources for remote work and learning, AWS Outposts on AWS GovCloud US, and more. This is The Brief from March 2020. A recap of the top cloud stories from Amazon Web Services for government, education, nonprofits, and healthcare. Let's take a look at some of the top stories from the AWS Public Sector blog from March 2020. First, we know many customers are facing a new and unique situation at both work and at home. AWS is here to help. On the blog, we share solutions that organizations can use to help with remote learning, virtual work, healthcare research, and more. From streaming applications to virtual desktops to call centers. Check out customer stories, use cases, and other helpful resources. In addition to the AWS Public Sector blog, you can also check out the Amazon Day One blog and Jeff Barr's blog for other useful stories, use cases, and tips. In early March, we hosted our first ever public sector summit in Mexico City. This spring, AWS is also expanding cloud education in the region. For executives, that means opportunities for the AWS DigiGov and AWS Government Executive Education programs. For the next generation of cloud talent, this means the expansion of AWS Academy and AWS Educate. Remember, AWS Educate content is available online in 14 countries in Latin America. It's available in dozens of languages, including Spanish and Portuguese. Learn more about these announcements and stay updated on public sector events, both virtual and in person, via the blog. Next on the blog this month, AWS Solutions Architects shared technical how-tos on topics like automating the creation of FedRAMP integrated workbook, how to get started with Earth observation on AWS GroundStation, and migrating workloads to Linux. Our technical team is here to help you, so please share your feedback and questions in the comments section of these posts. And if you have ideas for additional technical topics or how-tos you'd like to see, drop us a note in the comments of this video below. And finally, AWS Outposts can now connect to AWS GovCloud US. With this launch, users in AWS GovCloud US regions can get a consistent AWS experience by accessing the same AWS infrastructure, services, APIs, and tools across on-premises and the cloud. Government customers and regulated agencies can now use AWS services to process data and run their applications in on-premises facilities that they own, manage, and control. Read all about it on the blog. Look for links above or below this video to dive deeper into any of the stories from this month's episode of The Brief, and stay connected with all of your cloud news on the AWS Public Sector blog. I'm Brad Kepler, video producer at AWS, and those are your top public sector stories from March 2020. Thanks for watching The Brief.